I am Niranjan Balasubramanian. I am a new faculty member at the Computer Science Department. My research is in natural language processing. I've always loved language and words. I'm always fascinated by the fact that we can communicate really complex ideas using words and nuances. I'm trying to get computers to do the same. It's an incredibly challenging task. One of the projects that I work on is this uh, question answering system where we are trying to build something that can actually answer fourth grade science exams. Now you will think that's so easy, right? Wrong. It's actually an incredibly challenging task because computers, unlike humans, cannot deal with natural language very well. They expect language that's explicit, precise, but they're able to process vast amounts of text in a fraction of a second. That, as humans, we cannot do. So we are trying to take the best of both worlds, try to provide the computers with algorithms that they can better understand language with, but also use that ability to process large amounts of documents in a short span of time and gather vast amounts of knowledge that we can then use for some practical applications. One of the big reasons that I'm very excited about being in Stony Brook is because of this uh, biomedical informatics department that's starting up. Here, we are looking at a project where we are trying to help pathologists do better diagnosis of cancer, uh, cancer types by analyzing texts that people have written about cancer pathology. So the Westbrook DLS was an uh, exciting affair for me. I have always been concerned about how uh, the media and the broader community perceives um, scientific uh, disciplines, especially uh, things like computer science and engineering and some of the fundamental sciences. Um, the DLS talk really showed what kind of an impact uh, a popular show like Simpsons can have uh, on the wider public. And it's important that we pay attention to these uh, narratives and how science gets discussed uh, in domains, uh, in popular domains like media, cartoons, and things that are accessible to the public.